I have got my hands on a demo unit of Tandem's Moby Insulin Pump. I'm so excited to tell you all about it and show you a first look hands on with this device. Welcome to the channel. I'm Justin. If you're new here, I talk all things diabetes tech, news, and management. I've got a podcast every Monday and then YouTube videos showing off cool tech, big news announcements, and today, this little guy. I've already produced some videos on this, an informational one. I interviewed Tandem all about the device, and I also spoke with Gary Shiner, an educator, all about it, also on the podcast. Definitely gotta check out those videos if you haven't seen them for even more information. But today, what I wanna do is I wanna tear this down, show you how it looks, how it works, what the buttons and the LED lights do, and kind of give you a little tease uh, with this demo unit. This is not a working unit but I've got a lot to say based off of this. Before we get into it, if you enjoy today's video, be sure to give it a like. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and click that bell for alerts. That way you know when videos come out. And I've also got a Patreon if you wanna support the channel and also get some added extra content. I've got a link to that in the description. All right, let's get into Moby. Let's start with its size. As you can tell, this thing is small. It is half the size of the T-Slim X2. Just look at it next to an AirPods Pro case. All around, it is smaller than that. I barely can tell when an AirPods Pro case is in my pocket, so knowing that this one you'd barely even feel, that's kind of nice for someone who's on a tubed pump. And a lot of Moby marketing is showing it compared to a quarter. It is, you know, you can tell it's really small. It's uh, maybe about the size of four quarters. As you can see, it doesn't have a screen on it. And that is because the Moby is completely controlled by a smartphone. The app is different than the X2. It has its own smartphone app and it does have some controls on here. The Moby pump is water resistant. It has an IP28 rating. This means that it was tested eight feet underwater for two hours and it survived. That said, I asked in my interview with Tandem if people could go swimming with this or if they should be showering with it. What she said was people shouldn't really be submerging it underwater. Label says not to do that. Will people experiment with it? Maybe. Will showering be okay with it? That may be something that people do more. Not submerging it, but getting it wet in that way. And that kind of has to do with the way this is worn, which I'll also get into. People are going to be adhering this to their body. In order to get that good water resistance rating, as you can see, there are no ports on this thing. That is because this doesn't get charged by a wire. It is wirelessly charged. It is using essentially a standard Qi wireless charger from my understanding, but I'm sure Tandem's gonna say that you should only use their charger with it, but I'd be curious to see if it will charge on just any other wireless charger. I tried that with the Beta Bionics Eyelet Pump, and yes, it did charge just on an, a charger I use for my iPhone. Let's talk about how you refill the pump. Each time you go to refill it, you get a new cartridge. This right here is the cartridge on top. It swivels out, comes right out, then you've got the pump itself. This is just the, this is the main device right here. When you get a new one, you put it on, slide it in, and there you go. But before you put it on, you need to put insulin in it. Each cartridge comes in a pack like this, and inside you've got a new cartridge. You pull that out, and this is where you would refill it with insulin. As you're adding insulin, it will expand down in the cartridge and then open up, and you can fill this up with up to 200 units of insulin. So, because that's the max, this may not be for everyone. Once the insulin's inside, you're ready to put the cartridge onto the Moby pump and voila, you're ready to go. Aside from the app, you can also get alerts and control the Moby and Bolus by using its button and by viewing the LED lights. Before we get into that and how this thing can be worn, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by For All Family. When I was first diagnosed, I was worried about how I was gonna keep my insulin cold and go on long trips. For All Family has a wide selection of products to keep your insulin cool during travel or in the heat. This is the Nomad Medicine Cooler. It keeps insulin cold up to 28 hours. It can store three insulin pens or four vials inside with the included gel pack. This is a great option for a day trip, travel, or a long haul flight. Then there's the Voyager. 
It has a built-in cooling mechanism that is USB powered and keeps medication at a refrigerated temperature. This is great if you won't have access to a freezer for a long period of time. It lasts eight to 10 hours using For All Family's battery and you can keep swapping batteries out. The screen on top shows you the temperature inside. The included carrying bag fits the Voyager and battery pack together for easy travel. These are just a couple coolers from For All Family's large collection. If you wanna check these out or all their other products, check out that link in today's show notes and use the code JUSTIN10 for 10% off your order. Back to the episode. As I was saying, there is a button on the pump and two LED lights above it. This is so you can control and view the status of the pump without needing to get your phone. The LED lights on the device do a few different things. One is it shows you whether or not it's charging and what the status is of the charge. The other thing is by pressing the button and releasing, it will show you the status of the pump. The LED status indicators will correspond with the colors outlined in the accompanying user guide. The button can do a few different things. First, you can turn it on and off. Then it can also snooze different alerts. And the way you do that is you press it three times and it will snooze the alert. The last thing is this is a quick bolus button, meaning you can have pre-programmed settings on here in order to give yourself a, a bolus. This can be programmed on the phone a couple different ways, either through carbs or units. You can have it be 15, 30, 45 grams of carbs, let's say, or one, two, and three units. Um, the only way to change how those quick bolus actions work or are programmed is on the app. There is a, a security feature that can only be done on the app. That way people aren't changing your settings from this pump. There are three different ways that you can wear the Moby device. The first is pretty standard, putting it in your pocket. The cool thing is because it is so small, it fits in that change pocket of jeans that I feel like no one even uses anymore. It is like the perfect Moby pocket. I tried it myself on social media and it fits super snug. The next way you can wear it is by clipping it onto a piece of clothing. The Moby does have some accessories that you can use in order to wear it different ways. The clip option is great for when you're active or you're on a run. That could be a good use for it. The last way it can be worn is by being adhered to the body, kind of becoming like an Omnipod. It gets placed on the body using an adhesive and like a pouch that is specifically made for Moby. Now a user sent me this photo. I don't quite remember who it was. So if you're watching, thank you so much for sending this and I hope you don't mind that I'm using it. Um, but it shows off the Moby being adhered to a body. And let, let's take a look at it. It's not cute, <laughs> especially when you look at it side by side with an Omnipod. It looks extremely, extremely medical, unappealing. And it's just not something that I would ever be like, oh, I want to wear that on my arm. I'm sure there are reasons, maybe active moments where it would come in handy, but I don't know how many people will opt to use the Moby like this. Tandem is working on a tubeless pump. I reported on that. And you, if you want to learn more about it, it's the Siggy pump. I've got two videos on my YouTube channel. One that's like a eight minute video that gets into just everything you need to know. I also talked to Tandem about it and they gave us, gave us more information on when we can expect it and what it will be. Links to all these videos are in the description so you can check those out after you watch this. For now, Moby is, it is not a wearable tubeless pump like the Omnipod, even if it's gonna try to be adhered to the body. Hands down though, the Moby is a big innovation. I will have more Moby content coming out as soon as this is in the hands of people. I'm also going to ATTD in Europe in March and they are going to have this on display, I believe. And I wanna see all of the accessories and kind of give you like a hands-on with all of those. So stay tuned for that. Also, if you wanna see more videos like this and know when my videos come out, be sure to subscribe to the channel, click that bell for alerts because these videos drop kind of whenever. The podcast is every Monday though. Uh, and that's on all podcast platforms as well. And you should definitely check that out if you haven't. Also give this video a like if you enjoyed it, learn something new, that way more people can find it. And if you wanna support the channel and get some added extras, interviews, Q and A's that are exclusive, on Patreon, I've got a link down in the description below and I truly, truly thank you so much for your support. Until next time, I'm Justin and I'll tech you later.